Jeez Louise. She's so much. We need big solutions. We, you go small, we're not getting anywhere. This channel is about showing you the most problem dogs in society. Then at the end of the video, you seeing those problem dogs that have serious behavioral problems be better after one hour. This dog was recommended to be put down by the trainer of these people. This dog has a lot of things. It's got fear. It's got a hurting instinct. It's got protection. It's unsocialized. It's a lot of things. I'm trying to identify one of the triggers right now. By turning away, walking away, we're seeing if the dog is going for that back leg. And there's some there and there's some not going for the back leg there. Obviously, this dog has a lot of things happening in its head. So guess what I'm going to do? I've said it before and I'm going to say it again because like me, people need to hear things and see things over and over again so that you can take your difficult dog and you can help them by taking a little bit from this video, a little bit from that video, and you can put it together and help your own dog. Why did I take the dog right there? I think it's pretty obvious. But look at how the dog responds to me when I take the dog. What does that tell us? Could be part protection. The dog just fell in line without even it being fearful. And like, oh, I'm not going to go with this guy because I'm scared. The dog actually wasn't scared when I took the dog. The dog's like, okay, I'll go with this guy. So that tells us there's a little bit of protection in there. You have to identify the motivations of your dog. Is your dog fearful and just wants to tell people and dogs to get away? Does your dog have jerky aggression, which is a thing? I've obviously said that many times. Many people don't know that. Is it a thing that the dog wants to just go hurt another dog? Ab hurt another dog? Absolutely, it's a thing. That is not the case with this dog though, okay? This is fear and unsocializedness and not even knowing what to, see the little smell there? That was a little smell of the air. That was my first sign that we had some hope with this dog. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna identify a lot of these little signs for you, but definitely this dog is fearful. And so we're taking it back to nature. I've said it before, get with Prince. Prince might, if you nip him, he might whoop you. Prince might back you into a corner. A lot of things could happen, but if we go slow, this dog gets no better. I guarantee it. Oh, we've got these newfangled e-collars. This is new technology and can do wonderful things. No. How about we just go get in a field with another dog, let the other dog go to work. We are going to have to apply some corrections because the dog's brain gets spun out and because Prince isn't going to go with this dog because he doesn't think he needs to. He understands its fear, so he's not going to... He's not gonna go with this dog like you've seen him go before because it's not jerkiness, but the dog's little brain gets spun out. So we are gonna need to apply some corrections, but we cannot do it until the dog's brain has calmed down. One of the skills that I have is taking these mentally um, super highly stimulated dogs and bring them to the top of the mountain. Okay, bring them right up to the point where all the craziness is good for them and then stopping the craziness before they hit that crazy threshold, before their brain really gets like wigged out and we start to have less results, okay? That's one of my skills. And I hope that you guys can see that in this and then you can do that with your own dogs. But guys, here's what I wanna tell you. Everything I do, you should do for longer, okay? So if you see this dog or one of my videos, the dog meet prints through a fence for two minutes, you should do it for an hour. If I leave the muzzle on for five minutes, you should leave it on for four hours with that new dog that you're with. Do everything a little bit longer than I do, but the principles are the same. Desensitization, using muzzles for safety, getting dogs with other dogs. You wanna help this totally unsocialized dog, you have to get it with other dogs. You, it, the brain needs it, okay? What are we gonna, light this dog up with an e-collar? What does your gut tell you? You think that's gonna be good or you think this dog needs holistic, needs friends? Oh, look at this bark right here to the side. It's a play bark, okay? It's not a real bad bark. It's what puppies do. It's half-assed. So I just wanted to slow that down for you. So, just feels right. Feels right to Prince too. Little tail wag. Go nuts. Get in a field. Let a dog correct you. Prince backed him up into the corner. I didn't love it, but listen, 
he's doing what he thinks he needs to be doing, and ultimately this dog got better, so it was the best thing for this dog. Is it scary? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, all right, we're gonna go to original audio for a minute so you can hear what I say to the folks. Jeez Louise. She's so much. The problem is she's very, um, it's very offense, offensive and not just defensive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's like starting the problems. Get ready, John. Wait for it. Now. Skyler. Go Skyler. grab her. Skyler. Grab her. So this is what I was trying to tell you which she already rolled over, so she got the point. We don't need to do anything, but you can like add a little like, like push on the net. See how she just kind of got it a little more? Yeah. Like, this is a correction. Okay, go be mean. And then the attitude is, go do it again. Because he's not giving the corrections. Nope. So someone needs to. Two main things have helped this dog to get to this point. One is desensitization. Run, chase, bark, get chased, get cornered, desensitized to dogs so that they are not new anymore. We cannot be scared, okay? We cannot be worried. We have to be safe, as I always am, but we gotta let nature kind of happen. If Prince wanted to back her up, she got backed up, okay? That's fine, is it perfect? I don't know, but it's the best thing, okay? The other thing is the corrections from the owner and myself. This dog started to learn, if I do this to this dog over the top, then these, one of these guys or this lady is going to do something to me. And that's what the dog needs. Now we're back to the pasture. There's a chase right there, but it's, it's different. I mean, it's similar, but it's different. There's no ill intent to it. She's going to even chase Prince right here. And it's kind of a play. It's a little more play like, okay, right here, but she's with a bunch of dogs in field. So watch this, All right? A little, little halfway nip, but nothing bad. And it was more play like now I'm trying to amp it up a notch, I'm trying to get her to run, get her to play. So I run, I run with the dog. She just needs to see all of this happen. She needs everything. She needs to be at times overstimulated and she needs to be um, tripped out and she needs to not have the owners in her corner all the time and she needs all this stuff. So this is also the stuff, the dog stuff, because she was about the same with the dogs that she was with the people. Right? A similar kind of barking, similar reaction and so basically my goal was to get her with so many dogs that that the mental stimulation the exercise and the desens desensitization will also transfer to people which i believe is going to happen at about a 50 percent rate i believe we did some people stuff that i just cut out but i believe that doing this with the dogs was going to transfer to the people and reduce her people reactivity by about 50 percent organically in an hour and we reduced her dog stuff by about 75 percent so this dog is going to see a dog tomorrow and it's going to go oh my gosh i played with four dogs yesterday i hadn't done that in nine months and so now i'm a different dog now i wanted to i kind of got everyone over here and then i stayed here so that we could kind of pack them in so she was forced to be really close to him if this video helped you with your own wild unsocialized dog don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ask me any questions that you have in the comments